The past few Harry Potter games I've reviewed on this channel have really surprised me. So many licensees just take the franchise, craft a shitty game around it, and throw it out the door. But the people who got the Harry Potter license in the early years seemed to really care. They crafted incredibly innovative games in some spots that really surprised me. Goblet of Fire is not one of those games. Whereas Chamber of Secrets, perhaps the best Harry Potter game I've played, was an open world game, Goblet of Fire just shoves you along predefined paths. Where other games have had interesting and varied combat systems, this one has button mashing. But let's start with what this game was meant to be. Goblet of Fire is very much styled after games like Gauntlet, or even to a lesser extent something like the X-Men arcade game. This is a game I'd expect to find in an arcade and plug quarters into with some friends, and in that regard, Goblet of Fire is still somewhat fun. But I would also argue that just about any co-op game can be fun when played with friends. You make it fun, whether it's that way naturally or not. And if you can't trick any of your friends into playing this with you, I would strongly advise that you not try and play it yourself. The AI is terrible, often alternating between doing nothing at all and doing the completely wrong thing, ignoring whatever it is you're trying to do. Which is assuming you can even figure out what you're doing with the uncontrollable and terrible camera. As I mentioned before, the combat is very button matchy with very little variety. But that's not the only place the game lacks any sort of variety. You'll fight the same enemies over and over in the exact same ways, using the exact same spells, especially when the game makes you backtrack or scour a past level in order to get enough shields to move on to the next one. If I had to use a single word to describe this game, it would be tedious. Everything feels like a chore, from the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay to the collections, to getting cards in order to upgrade your abilities that don't really feel like they matter. Just nothing feels fun. It feels like I'm being forced to do this for no reason at all. Where other Harry Potter games always seem to try something interesting, even if it wasn't entirely successful, Goblet of Fire feels like the point at which EA just kind of gave up and decided to cash in on the license they had secured. A trend that, from what I've heard about the games past this point, is only set to get worse. Now to be clear, I'm not saying this is a horrible game, though I am saying it's not good. It's more or less passable, but the lost potential is what really disappoints me given the franchise's track record in the video game space. Other Harry Potter games were just so surprisingly good that suddenly a game I probably would have looked at a few years ago and said, eh, it's okay, is very much not okay. Even the concept behind this game, the idea of a gauntlet-esque Harry Potter game, totally holds water. I would love to play a game like this done well, or even something like a Harry Potter branded Magicka game. Goblet gives me some really neat ideas for some games, but it's really depressing that none of those ideas are to be found on display here. Every Monday, I look at a game that's at least 10 years old, what I would consider to be retro, and I look at it in a modern context. Is this game still worth playing today? If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see my latest videos. If you like this video in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.